Hi, I'm Dr. David Hasse, and my goal is simple. I want you to have more good days, and we're here together to help make that happen. Today, I'm going to talk to you about quantitative EEG, and this is actually the most important step if you're going to start doing something like neurofeedback or neurotherapy of any kind. Quantitative EEG is a really remarkable technology, and it helps guide the precision of any kind of therapy that would be implemented to help your brain shift to a more effective and efficient state. So that's a big word, quantitative EEG. What does it mean? Well, it is taking an EEG, which is an electroencephalogram, which uh, is the measuring the electricity that comes off of your head, uh, and then taking all of that information and putting it through a computer so that we can visually represent or see exactly what your brain waves are doing at any one time. It's very specific. It helps us understand how much brain waves you have in each area of the brain, how those brain waves are talking to each other across the brain, are they in the right timing with each other, and do they have the right relationship with the patterns that are expected to be there at the particular time. It is an incredibly precise tool. And as we're gonna talk about neurofeedback and the different types of neurotherapy, that can be helpful to help you create health from a neurologic perspective. Diagnosis always comes before treatment. And it's one of the things that really sets us apart here at Maxwell Clinic. We've been doing quantitative EEG guided neurotherapy for almost 15 years. And we have many different tools, but always listening to the patient, um, examining the function of the brain, uh, those two things need to come first before anything else is done. We're very proud of our database that we have here. Matter of fact, we were approached by Stanford researchers to help build a database of the peak performers in the world to help us use this data of understanding this most complex organ in the known universe, your brain, um, so that we can understand why is it maybe not functioning at the level you would desire it to. It's really an important thing. You know, even in psychiatry, I was always aghast because here, this most important, incredibly important specialty wasn't examining the organ that they were treating. That's what quantitative EEG does for us. It enables us to examine the organ that is bringing forth all of our moods, our thoughts, our instincts, um, and our ability to move and sense in the world. If any of those factors are kind of messed up, um, you're going to see it oftentimes in the brain waves. In the, and brain maps are really beautiful things. They kind of look like weather maps. And a weather map has a typically green in areas that are most comfortable, right? So the color green in our brain maps uh, correspond with a brain that's in the average of normal electrical efficiency. And then when we start seeing colors like yellow, orange, and red come up, that means there's too much of that brain wave in that area of the brain. Or if colors like uh, light, light green and blue and dark blue come, that means that there's not as much brain wave uh, uh, amplitude or force in that part of the brain. So you can see this beautiful three-dimensional structure of the brain in terms of its function, not just in terms of its structure. So an MRI is very good at looking at the structure of the brain, but you can't see how the brain is functioning that way. With quantitative EEG, it really helps you see the actual functioning of the brain, even in real time. It's very exciting stuff. Now, whenever we start forward on thinking we're going to use neurofeedback to help the brain efficiency so that we can decrease uh, a symptom or improve a function, uh, when we understand the electrical efficiency where we're starting from, and then we have several large 
published FDA registered databases that we use to compare your brain waves and the relationships of those brain waves with these normative databases. We even have a database of, of high peak performers of military special forces. You know, we can look at the brain waves through many different lenses. And depending upon the goals, whether it's treating of severe disease or actually going towards peak performance in your field, different databases and different ways of using that same data uh, become useful. We utilize quantitative EEG neurofeedback for all of the patients we see here. We think it is an essential step towards understanding. And it looks like putting a shower cap on your head uh, and it measures the electricity coming from about 19 different sites. Uh, and that is all put together to help understand how the brain is electrically efficient and how well it is communicating within itself. There's a word called the connectome. And when you come into our office uh, receiving area, our hospitality area, you'll see some gorgeous paintings on the wall of the connectome. And the connectome looks like this, the map of every neurologic connection in the brain. Every part of the brain is connected to every other part of the brain through very specific connections. And the function and the stability of those connections, when we think of all the connections together, we call it the connect ohm, is actually what gives you your experience of life. So you have to honor the brain if you want to improve your quality of your life. If the goal is more good days, then the brain has to be central. Make certain that if you're looking in neurofeedback that you're doing, getting good diagnosis ahead of time and that that would come with a quantitative EEG, um, a history, possibly some cognitive testing so that you get the right therapy uh, for you because neurofeedback and other forms of neurotherapy can be absolutely amazing. And um, we, we wish is for you to enjoy your fullest potential in life. You get to go around one time, uh, might as well make it the best you can. <laughs>